Ancient Greece was the foundation of Western civilization and flourished for a thousand years or more. Until ancient Greece started to go downhill because of the long Peloponnesian War. Thucydides, the historian, tells us that it started when Greeks united to fight big Persian invasions. But then what soon happened was that democratic Athens started dominating the other Greek nations. Athens' growth alarmed the regions of the Peloponnesians who were led by the powerful Spartans. Spartans were trained from birth to be the best soldiers on earth, so it wasn't long until big trouble was starting. The first Peloponnesian war was over Sparta's friend next door, the land of Megara that Athens tried to lead. Sparta launched a 15-year attack and got Megara back, and then a 30-year peace treaty was agreed. It only lasted 14 years before the next big war appeared, a whole new decade of more destruction and more misery. Then, strangely, the last truce was undone, and the final war begun with a small fight between two towns out in Sicily. The Alcibiades was an Athenian general who reasoned this was a good excuse to conquer the whole Sicilian island. But then Alcibiades was accused of defacing some religious statues and was arrested before his troops got even one mile in. Angry Alcibiades fled and joined the Spartan side instead. He helped him destroy Athens' Sicily invaders. In fact, Athens was so beat in this disastrous defeat, it seemed like they'd have to totally collapse sooner or later. But the Peloponnesian War still went on for ten years more. Even the dreaded Persians were drawn back into the mess. And when Athens finally fell, Sparta was so beat up as well, it was the end of the Greek Empire, more or less. From what Greeks did to each other, they never fully recovered, and Rome took over in 146 BC. But Greece's age of magnificence has been remembered ever since for their great ideas in art, politics, and philosophy.